Hello again. I am here with the second build I've done for Dr. Scorpion X's mock contest. Yes. So anyway, I'm I'm really kind of excited about how this guy's how this guy turned out. Not necessarily his little dinosaur mode right here, cause he's yet another transforming guy. Since well, I think they're really fun. So yeah. <clears throat> Just did a real quick 360 there. So, what is this guy? Well, he's this T-Rex. And I'm going to take this piece of fire out of his mouth since well, I did the bit of same head design as I did in Gradix. <sighs> oh! Wow, this is uh, uh, that was really unprofessional of me. Yeah, well, I'm not really the most professional video maker so, anyway. So, King Rex. Anyway, yeah. Well, it's... Because, you know, you name your dog Rex, and, well, he looks, he is a kind of a T-Rex. You know, he's got these, these little stubby arms that you can't touch his toes. And, yeah. So, in this little mode, I'm going to, no, well, it's not really good with back coverage so much right here, and that piece keeps on moving. And, yeah. I've used this his legs, design yeah. before in my other Hero Factory CCBS mocks I've done. I've never shown, but yeah, got sort of double jointed legs with kind of a birdish thing going on. So yeah, that. It's got this really is this club tail you used to bash opponents with. And yeah, I, I probably should have stated it by now, but he has an HF core on his belly right here. So yeah, he's a he's a good guy. You know what? That's a good way to segue into what I've kind of thought he would be. You so, need something to combat the beast, so make monsters yourself. So here, here we have King Rex, and his function is to fight the monsters by being a monster. Yeah. So as you saw the beast in his mouth earlier, he breathes fire. His head has this little spike on his top, and he can ram through rock walls and rock and other beasts. His powerful legs can bring him up to great speed. Yes, I sound like an advertiser. And as I've already mentioned, his clubbing tail can bash through nearly anything. Okay, so yeah, that's the basic rundown of King Rex's T-Rex mode. Roar. Yeah, so I'm going to do something a bit different than I did in my last little video with Gradix and I'm going to uh, sort of fade into a little montage So here is the King Rex in robot mode. And is he something of a behemoth? At least according to so, my little standards. He is a bit top heavy, but his legs are pretty stable and he can handle most poses that I can put him in. So I'm gonna keep him in this for now. So yeah, his feet become his arms, tail becomes legs. Now where have we seen that before? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a big Grimlock fan. See, so yeah, I might not be the most inspired of my own design, but yeah. And well, his upper body folds up into this little backpack thing here that I think looks neat. See, so yeah, I give you a bit of 360 of that. And his eye. I wanted to do something a bit unusual and gave him sort of like like a specific rim inspired head sort of thing. He's got this little mono, mono eye. He's a cyclops I guess. You know, has shoot laser vision and the light from it. And then he can follow up on with his shredder claws. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty much the build. The legs are a bit spindly, but they work. Kind of, sort of. 
So, we're double the trouble. We've got a we've got a monster and something of a mech. So it doesn't really pilot and be more akin to Pacific Rim style stuff without the cockpits. Because I don't have those cockpit pieces. Anyway, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you have all liked this, and I hope you've liked it too, Doctor. And yeah, so I'm going to fade into another little vid video slideshow montage of him striking really cool poses. Goodbye.